Traditional SIM is outdated. Um, OpenXDR is the ability to take any product and plug it into the platform and gain the economies that you get from correlated, integrated, consolidated data. Uh, the problem that the industry faces is there's 1,500 vendors out there and they're building products that don't talk to each other, right? And so what Overwatch does is it, we say we don't care if you're a product A, B, or C. We're going to take that data, plug it into the platform, and then give you the ability to detect and respond and monitor off of all of that data set. OpenXDR is the only way you get there. So single pane of glass is a huge value add. Um, if you think about traditional security teams, they're managing 50 to 75 products, right? So they've all got 50 consoles and they, it's just not manageable. You can't hire enough people. You can't have enough screens in your office to manage all those tools, right? So ultimately having a single pane of glass means I have one place to go to get a, a dashboard of, of the risk to my organization. And once I see that risk, I can start to drill down and take action and respond. Single pane of glass is the only way to get there. So I think, I think the third probably leg in, in the problem set is not enough people. And that's where Overwatch helps as well, right? Because we give you the best trained analysts using the best products to respond to threats real time. You, you, don't, you don't have to go and hire your own staff. You don't have to go build this great facility to do security. We do all that for you. And so we're helping solve that shortage that there is in the InfoSec community. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon at the top of the page if you want YouTube to notify you when we have new content. If you'd like Overwatch services, go to highwirenetworks.com slash overwatch. Fill out the contact page and let us simplify your cybersecurity strategy decisions. And please leave any comments or questions below. Let's keep the conversation going.